coloboma per se means defect. Now this is an eyelid coloboma. Can you see here in the superior eyelid there is a defect? So this is called eyelid coloboma. It is more common in nasal sides as compared to the temporal side and this is also more common in the upper eyelid. Can you see here this is a defect. This is called coloboma. The eyelid coloboma. Can you see here? There is a defect in the iris. This is called iris coloboma. Okay. So we studied the eyelid coloboma. Now we would study the iris coloboma. So the basic thing that you have to remember about the iris coloboma is it is also basically more inferior nasal. And so the important point regarding the iris coloboma is differentiate from the iridodialysis. Remember in iridodialysis there is a disinsertion from the root of iris and there is a D-shaped pupil. This is a fundus coloboma. How to basically differentiate a fundus coloboma from an retinal attachment? Here can you see the whitish spot? So basically here your retinoid choroid is missing and you are seeing the scleral show from this area. So this is a fundus coloboma. Few important points regarding fundus coloboma is that there occurs a failure of the development of RP and the choroid in this area. It is more commonly inferior nasal as I told you in the case of uh, the RS coloboma also and the complications can be choroidal neovascular membrane that I told you during the uh, discussion of uh, uh, retina which is also called wet ARMD and retinal detachment. A syndrome that is asked regarding the association of fundus coloboma is charge syndrome. Remember I told you about another syndrome that is the Fraser syndrome which is associated with the crypt of thalmos. So these are some points that you have to remember regarding the fundus coloboma. Now this is a optic nerve coloboma. Now it looks like glaucoma but it is absolutely not a glaucoma. Now how to differentiate it? You won't get a nasalization of vessels, a deep cup, uh, NRR deficiency here in the uh, optic nerve coloboma you can get in can you see here so there is a irregular cup okay so basically in this area there is a defect this is called optic nerve coloboma it is also more common in the inferior nasal side as I told you regarding the uh, your op fundus coloboma and the iris coloboma and a varying amount of glial tissue typically fills the defect okay so there is a lot of white tissue that is seen. So glial tissue fills the defect. The complications can be central serous retinopathy and serous retinal detachment. The associations are many like microphthalmia and also there can be a PAC6 association and the systemic syndrome that is associated with optic nerve coloboma is the papillorenal syndrome. So these are some important points that you have to remember regarding optic nerve polypo.